Welcome to the President and CEO Focus on the Middle Market podcast series, where President and CEO founder Paul Stuckel discusses middle market issues with business leaders from across the nation. Today, in part two of a three part series, Paul speaks with Ken Esch, partner of PwC's Private Company Services, about the encouraging results of their third quarter trendsetter survey of private middle market companies. I guess 35% of private companies are planning major new investments, which is a really, really good number. I mean, that's a very right. optimistic number, right? Um, yeah. Is there any sense that you get from as to, as to where those investments are going, meaning in, in terms of what are they investing in? Uh, you know, a, a lot of it is in technology. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we, we find that, um, you know, even coming out of the recession, that uh, many of the private companies were in, investing in technology uh, to improve some of their infrastructure, get a better handle on the data you know, that they have with respect to their customers and, and buying habits, um, you know, connecting you know, with them in a different way, you know, primarily through mobile applications, and, mm-hmm. um, and, and driving you know, some efficiencies and business processes you know, through that new technology, uh, but also you know, opening up you know, some additional you know, markets by reaching, you know, new customers in a, in a different way than perhaps they, they had before. Um, I think one of the, uh, you know, the ancillary, you know, impacts, you know, from that technology investment is that we uh, haven't seen the same uh, snapback in hiring, you know, coming out of the recession that we've seen in past recessions. And um, they found that they, you know, can do more, you know, with fewer people by investing in the technology. Yeah, you know, and that 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 whole dynamic is really it's it's fascinating from a business perspective, it's very very positive from a societal perspective, maybe not so much. With with in, in the sense that you know, the you know, cuz we, we we there are so many issues that are related to that in 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 the sense that I mean, this this report indicates that uh margins are going up really really Positively. Now, obviously, some of right. that has to do with energy costs and things like that, certainly. Um, but you know, wages are stagnant, basically, and you've got this this uh, you know the the, the wage the the, the uh, employment. Uh, I believe the aggregate increase in employment from your survey was like 1.6 percent, which is obviously not gangbusters. And then you've got the the talent shortage. That yeah. that is now is continuing to increase, and we've talked about this every quarter basically, and it and it keeps getting worse. You know, there's that there there does seem to be sort of a um, a really fundamental change in in the labor and and wage um, uh, situation with respect to these companies, and I think we're seeing that all across the economy. Um, yeah. Do you do you see that changing anytime soon? I I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the, the interesting thing about the uh, about the report, you know, this uh, this time is that uh, that we are starting to see, uh, you know, more companies identify, you know, the talent, you know, shortage, you know, as a problem, you know, to future growth, and and we also saw that um, that about twenty percent of the companies identified um, potential wage increases. Uh, as impacting, you know, future, you know, profitability. So we're just starting to see, I, I think, you know, companies, you know, recognize that there's a little bit of velocity, you know, within the labor market here, and that we've got, um, um, you know, highly qualified employees that um, have, have really been strong partners, you know, with companies through the recession uh, have some options about what they uh, what they do, you know, going forward. You know, that there are – you know, companies out there that are hiring, um, somebody with the right type of skill sets, you know, can command, you know, increases by moving. And uh, the last thing that a business wants to see at this point is a highly qualified employee walk out the door. So they're starting to recognize that uh, that there may be a little bit of, um, you know, price pressure, you know, on wages, you know, going forward. It really has not impacted, you know, margins for, for this survey, certainly. And um, you know, being one element of costs uh, that have been stable, you know, for a long period, you know, here, um, I think we have started to see probably after this survey, you know, was issued, 
uh, you know, falling oil prices and, and, and energy costs, um, you know, that may be referenced, you know, in, uh, in future surveys here. But it's all dropping to the bottom line. You know, yeah. the, uh, these investments that they're making in the technology, the stabilized cost structure um, is, is, is really contributing to the bottom line performance, you know, of, of these businesses. And uh, I would expect, you know, over time, you know, we'll start to see more uh, pressure, you know, on costs, uh, you know, including, you know, wages as, uh, as the economy continues to grow, albeit not as fast as some would like. Be sure to check back for part three of our three-part series. Thanks for listening.